Updating your Kali Linux is your top priority. The first task you should perform after a clean install is updating your operating system. Advanced Packaging Tools, or APT, extends the functionalities of Debian packages by searching repositories and installing or upgrading packages along with all the required dependencies. Let's start with the update command first. Now open your console and write the following command. This command is used to resynchronize the local package index files with their source as defined in the sources.list file. The update command should always be used first before performing an upgrade or a distribution upgrade. Next, we need to upgrade Kali by issuing the following command. The minus Y option proceeds with the installation without the hassle of writing yes every time I've been asked for it. So what apt-get upgrade stands for? It is used to install the newest versions of all packages installed on the system. So the existing packages on Kali with new versions available are upgraded. Important to note that the upgrade command will not change or delete packages that are not being upgraded. And it will not install packages that are not already present. Finally, you need to execute the distribution upgrade command. This command upgrades all packages currently installed on the system and their dependencies. It also removes obsolete packages from the system. The next thing I need to do is to reboot my machine. After rebooting my machine, now I have a fresh clean version of Kali. Because you are going to use the update commands more often, I want to show you how to combine the three commands together in a script, then you can run it every time you need to update your Kali system. Using leafpad, create a new file. First open your console. The sh extension means that the file is a shell script. Now write down the following comments. Now save and close. Next, you need to give yourself permissions to execute this file. Let's see if it works. Awesome! Our script is now up and running. Every time you want to install a new package, you should run the following command. We will see this command a lot in the upcoming sections. To list the Debian packages installed on your machine, you would run the following command. There's a bunch of them, but if you want to know if a specific tool is already installed, you can filter the results by adding the grep filter. I'm using the zip package filter for the sake of this example. Now to show a full description of a package and identify its dependencies, run the following comment. And finally, to remove a package from Kali, you should execute the following comment. 
Of course, you need to replace the package name by your application name. Finally, before I finish this demo, I want to show you how your system uses the official Kali repositories. All the magic happens in the sources.list file. Now let's take a look at that file. Open the file using leafpad. Whenever you execute your update command, Kali looks in the contents of this file to perform the update process.